avril, on avait reçu, euh, Georges était présent aussi, lors de la semaine nationale du don d'organes et de tissus, que, dans le fond, c'est le don le plus important qu'on puisse faire. Puis je veux remercier toutes celles et ceux qui consacrent leurs, éner leurs énergies euh, à cette cause, parce que lorsqu'on parle en ce moment, il y a 1000 personnes au Canada qui sont en attente d'une transplantation, d'un don d'organes, dont 400 euh, Montréalaises et Montréalais. Alors, euh, c'est un geste qui est très simple à faire. Tout ce qu'on a à faire, c'est donner notre consentement. Et, partant de là, on démontre notre solidarité envers un autre semblable. Alors, euh, oui, il faut de plus en plus, à cause de vos efforts, que les jeunes et les moins jeunes prennent conscience là, que, d'une certaine façon, nous sommes privilégiés à Montréal, parce qu'on a des personnes comme vous qui sont prêts à faire euh, la démonstration de cette solidarité. Mais également, on a des équipements, la plus de la technologie, on fait beaucoup de recherches, on a des centres hospitaliers qui euh, se spécialisent dans les transplantations. Alors, euh, à Montréal, on veut être reconnus comme la ville par excellence au niveau euh, du don euh, d'organes. Alors, euh, ce qu'on peut faire aujourd'hui, on doit y penser très sérieusement, d'autant plus qu'on ne sait pas. Peut-être qu'un jour, on aura besoin d'une transplantation, et si ce n'est pas nous, ça va sûrement être une personne euh, qu'on aime beaucoup, ou encore un ami. Donc, on ne peut pas être indifférent à une cause euh, aussi importante que celle euh, que vous euh, mettez de l'avant aujourd'hui. Et pour les étudiants, ben, les étudiants et les étudiantes aussi, les professeurs, vous avez parcouru la ville dans un climat extraordinaire. Je ne pas dire qu'il ne fait pas beau aujourd'hui. C'était une belle journée, il n'y avait pas beaucoup de circulation, donc euh, vous n'aviez pas, euh, sûrement pas de problème euh, de sécurité. Mais je veux vous remercier parce que dorénavant, vous êtes oui des porteurs de flambeaux, mais vous êtes également des ambassadeurs. Des ambassadeurs euh, qui vont faire la promotion à votre école, au mon mais sûrement vous donner l'exemple à beaucoup d'autres jeunes de mettre de l'avant cette même cause. Donc vous le faites avec beaucoup de courage, avec beaucoup de détermination, mais avec un leadership qui est tout à votre honneur. And to you, George, I'd like to uh, wish you once again um, a pleasant stay in the City Hall. We met um, several months ago, and I know that you have uh, at heart this very important cause, and um, it's not only a Montreal cause, it's a Canadian cause, and I think it should be a world cause, and that's why you're working so hard. So hard. And I hope that your invitation will, will be heard by uh, not only Montrealers, by every Canadian. It's a very important cause, and you're truly a remarkable um, person because of your spirit, because of your courage, because of your determination, and your mental effort that are becoming more and more an inspiration for Canadians and today for Montrealers. And I want to thank you for having founded and presided, and you're still presiding step by step, and also for continuing to uh, make Montreal a very important state in this uh, important uh, journey. So welcome once again to Montreal, and now I would ask you and um, uh, Christopher that is here to sign uh, the Golden Book of the City of Montreal. And then, because we have all these uh, young students here, I'm going to ask them afterwards to accompany you and sign on the same page. It's what you're trying to do, is to multiply your efforts and to convince more and more young people that they should join, join you in this uh, important journey for the future of the people that are, that are in need of the uh, donation. Mayor, I think it's always a privilege to meet you. It's, I feel very fortunate to have met you twice. Um, you know, during my campaign, I, I, I meet a lot of mayors, I meet a lot of people, and I don't say it this lightly, I have not heard one bad word about you, Mayor, throughout all of Canada. It seems like everybody, I, I really mean that. I really, I'm not just saying that. It's, it's really an honor to be in the building again. Um, we started off this campaign, SOS 4000, uh, to, to get the uh, students involved from coast to coast about this important issue. And 
Uh, we organized uh, over 130 students from St. John's to Victoria to participate in this. Uh, and during the journey thus far, uh, we've encountered some amazing, amazing students and, and some incidents that, that are going to stay in our hearts forever. Uh, during our time in um, uh, Nova Scotia, we met a 14-year-old teenager that uh, not only wanted to become a torch champion, but she wanted to go that extra mile and donate her kidney uh, to a complete stranger. And she went even further than that. She went to the Nova Scotia Legislation Building to see if she can change the law from 18 to 16. And, you know, to think that a 14-year-old is, is thinking of doing something like that, it just, these are the people that were inspiring me along the way. And then uh, we met the family, the DeGrasse family, uh, who lost their son, uh, Unique. He was a Philadelphia goaltender six years ago. He was arriving home after a Philadelphia game to spend Christmas with his family in, in, in Edmondston. He got into a car accident and tragically died that night. His family uh, courageously donated his organs and there are six people alive today. And since that day, the DeGrasse family has always been with us in, in, in New Brunswick and we've been carrying the uh, torch in the Nick's memory. And then coming through Quebec, uh, we met so many amazing students, so many amazing people. Uh, we met a lady that uh, lost her daughter four months ago, Natalie Russo. Uh, she was waiting for a heart and lung transplant for three and a half years. And, and she said she's seen us on television and she was doing everything she could to try and get a hold of us. Just to bring some meaning uh, to her daughter's death, you know. Uh, and, and, and she joined us in Shawan again, and she had a chance to hold the torch, and, and we carried it that day in, in Natalie's memory, and it helped her bring comfort, you know. And now today we arrive here in Montreal, and, and, I, and, and we know about Zoe, uh, Zoe uh, uh, Bernard. Um, and, and this is another situation which, which has, to, has to touch all of us. A two-year-old baby is presently in St. Justin's Hospital and she's been there for the last three months and every day she's been fighting to stay alive an extra day and, and the family has been desperately hoping that a heart will arrive to save her life. And this is what it becomes all about. It becomes about saving lives and today we want to save Zoe's life. We want to continue. We don't want to stop here today. We want to continue trying to do whatever we can to save Zoe's life. And we can do it. We can do it. We can't eat. The weather that was out here today, I know it was cold and it was, you know, but we got to think of what these people are going through in the hospital and the family is going through right now. You have to put yourself in that situation. And what can we do for that family? There's a lot we can do. And, and we need to do it. And because we are not only going to be saving uh, Zoe's life, but 4,000 other people. So I'm urging everybody uh, here today not to forget about Zoe, to, 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 to do whatever you can to get the word out. And, and, and we have a chance to save her life. I know the family uh, would, would have loved to be here, and they are comforted by the fact that we're doing this, but they have to be by their baby's side right now. So um, I'm hoping we, we can continue on this, this, this great issue and, and I want to thank the students uh, and, and the champions, uh, Luis, Philippe and Katia for carrying the torch and all the students that came out bravely to, to a cold, cold winter uh, where nobody in their right mind would want to do this. And, and please give them a round of applause for coming out. Thank you. Let us not forget.